Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we're going to talk about piston ring installation. Uh, if you missed my last video, I basically showed you how to install spiral locks, uh, basically creating this assembly, connecting rod, piston pin, and the pistons, bringing them all together. Uh, if you've never installed spiral locks, they can be pretty challenging. Uh, but in that video, I showed you a really cool tool that makes spiral lock installation a breeze. So check it out if you haven't seen it. But like I say, today we're talking about piston ring installation. So let me get set up and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we're all set up for our piston ring installation. I've already cleaned all these parts in lacquer thinner, so everything's ready to go. Uh, we got your top ring, second ring, and your oil control ring there, as well as your uh, upper and lower supports for your oil control ring. Uh, piston ring expander tool assembly lube, and of course, piston and connecting rod assembly. One thing I have found, it you almost need three hands when, when doing all this, uh, so something to hold the piston assembly is super helpful. One solution I came up with, it's pretty low buck, but it's a four inch piece of PVC, and I can just set my piston right on there and holds it. So I, it's, it's a low tech solution, but it has worked pretty well for me. So let me get the camera set up and I'll walk you through the process. Okay, we're all set up. Uh, this guy I'm doing the number two piston, the arrows pointing to the front of the engine. Uh, JE Pistons was pretty specific on where they wanted uh, the gaps on, on all the piston rings to be located, um, basically clocked in different positions. And so I'll share that, uh, that graphic with you, but um, essentially, yeah, they want all the gaps staggered, uh, and, and they call that a pretty specific uh, spot for every gap on every ring. So uh, anyway, we're going to start off with the oil control ring. The thing, thing is, uh, you will want to install this first just by popping that guy in there, uh, just like so. Now, the reason, let me pull him back out, what you don't want to do is first put your lower uh, support ring in and then try and put this. And the reason why uh, you'll see, if, I don't know if you can see this, but on the inside edge of this, there is a lip that this support ring will sit up against. Let me see if I can get that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's gonna be tough. But anyway, there's a, there's a lip on the inside that keeps that ring from moving inwards. So you have to install this portion first uh, onto the piston, and, the, and that's pretty simple. Just pop that in there. Make sure the, the, the gap over here doesn't overlap, that there, it's butted up. Uh, I've been running that gap over here. Uh, next thing up will be a support ring. Um, I'll do the bottom one. Um, again, JE Piston, uh, they, they recommend certain things when installing these. I, I don't understand. i got to check my notes again. But uh, the bottom oil ring support, they want you to install in a clockwise fashion. I Honestly, I don't know why that is, but I've been doing that on the other one, so I'll continue doing it. Won't question it. Um, start off with a little assembly lube on this guy. So this will just make sure they're not starting up dry and the assembly lube will stay on there for a good long time. The lower uh, gap they want clocked at about the seven o'clock position. So I'm going to pop him on there. And like I say, they want to install the lower ring on a clockwise fashion. So I'm going to slide him on there and bring him around. So, okay, so uh, still got front of the engine going that way. Um, that gap wants to be clocked around to that position. So he's in there. You can kind of see that uh, it all floats around together as one assembly. So that support ring is in there. Got our oil control ring. Next up will be the upper control ring. And for some reason, they want to install this one in a counterclockwise fashion. Don't know why that is, but... Um, so be it. <laughs> um, anyway, a little more assembly lube on this guy. Doesn't take much, but like I say, it's just to make sure that these things are no. When I start the engine up, it's not going to be on there uh, dry. 
Uh, this one, uh, they wanted, actually, you know what? I'm looking at my notes, that oil gap. They wanted to be clocked at the 11 o'clock position, so I'm going to rotate him on around. So he's up there. So that was the bottom. I'm looking at my notes over there. The oil ring rail. Uh, the bottom one is at the 11 o'clock position. The top one is going to be at the 7 o'clock position. And again, they, they say to install the top one in a counterclockwise rotation. So don't know why that is, but again, I'll do that and kind of spin him uh, on that guy. So let me... Let me set him in there, working around and counterclockwise, and pop him down on there, so, like so. And they go in pretty easy. So now that gap is, you know, there's 12 o'clock position, he's down at 7. So that whole assembly is in there. The, the gap on the oil control ring is butted up. It's not overlapping, not sticking out. Um, pretty, straight, pretty straightforward. Next up is the uh, compression ring. Let me check the camera, make sure. Yep, you can still see what's going on there. Um, like I say, I've already washed these guys. I'm going to get a little more assembly lube on these guys. These guys are pretty easy to uh, install. Um, one thing to note, pi most piston ring manufacturers put a dot or some sort of marking on the top surface of that. You want to make sure that that mark, and I'm going to double check that. This, yep, there's a little dot there. Uh, that goes to the top. You, there is a top and a bottom to these rings. Let me get a little more assembly lube on there. So anyway, yeah, there's a top and a bottom. You'll want to make sure they're in the right orientation. In this case, the second uh, compression ring, uh, they want clocked at the nine o'clock position. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab my expander, expansion tool. And it's pretty straightforward. You just pop it on there and that allows you to spread that compression ring apart. I'm gonna come over here and expand him just enough to walk him down onto the piston and like so. See that. There we go. Yep. Okay. Like I say, you almost need several hands, but there we go. So that's the second ring. We'll do this very same thing on the top ring. Again, uh, verifying that little dot. Yep. Double check sometimes hard to see but yep it, there's your mark right there that indicates it's the top um, again get a little assembly lube and get him on there and the gap on the top ring je pistons wants it at the three o'clock position so again i'll pop this guy in there and spread him out and just get him fit over the piston again sorry if i'm blocking your view there but and there we go okay so he's on uh, gap is over here on the top ring gap is over there um, essentially that's it guys uh, Fairly simple, just make sure everything floats around in there. Make sure the uh, oil ring, uh, make sure you can see it. Oops, there we go, now we can see it. So everything's floating around in there nice and good. Got assembly lube going on. Uh, that's it, uh, that's that's how you install piston rings. All right guys, that's, that's all there is to installing piston rings. That's all I've got for today, pretty short and sweet. It's pretty straightforward, not a lot you can do to screw up, but uh, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me a message, castleworksmotorsports.com. Uh, next step in the process will be stuffing these pistons uh, in, in, the, in the block here. So big progress. I'm looking forward to getting this thing going. So till, the, till next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.